Hey guys, it's Hell Hades. It's just gonna be another raid Shadow Legends video. We are doing a guide version 1.2. Frozen Banshee has had a kit rework, and I want to test her out. So, what can she do now? Um, let's just go over her kit again. I've done one guide for her before. She was a bit lackluster then. I thought she was going to be good, but she wasn't. So, let's just see what's changed then. So, she has got an A1 attacks two times each hit. When booked up, it's got 100% chance to land the big version of poison. It's massive, massive, but she needs poison sensitivity debuff to be on the uh, enemy first. Uh, she's then got a second one, which fills turn meter of all allies by 2% for each debuff on the target. So something just to be aware of, whenever she hits with her A2, she's going to give you a bit of turn meter fill. And we've also got an A3, which lands that poison sensitivity. It's a 25% poison sensitivity. Uh, so what that means is your poisons are going to do 25% more damage when they're on the opponent. So if you think about standard poison on most clan bosses, kind of what, brutal upwards, it's a 50k tick. It's actually going to tick for 62.5k. Uh, the big question for me is, is poison sensitivity at this level better than weaken? And I think it might be. I actually think it is, is, is my, my view, uh, especially if you've got a number of poisons stacking up. So we need to be aware you, you'd prefer to run her in a speed team because of her own natural speed boost. Um, so what we're going to do is, and we'll just show you a build quickly. How have I built her up? I have gone for um, basically defensive stats. I want her to be able to land a poison, so she needs accuracy. I want her to run relatively fast, and I want her to be alive when the clan boss is smacking her. So we've gone for 3.4k defense, 179 speed, which is like the nightmare level, and then 226 on the accuracy. To how I've done it, I've got defense gloves, defense chest, HP boots, short, good HP level as well. We've got a defense ring, HP amulet, mainly for the accuracy, and then an accuracy banner. And then I've got her in a speed set as a kind of other set. And then a bit of crit rate and stuff in here. Mainly what I wanted here was just a max level shield because I get more defense for max level. So that's her, her kit. Let's get her into a clan boss fight and see what we can do with her now. So she was good before. Now I'm thinking she's going to be pretty much top tier as a poisoner in terms of damage output. Um, so what I want to do is I want to remove anyone who puts a weaken in first. I need Bad Elwin for some healing. I need a counter attacker. I don't think I need Marta necessarily. So I think I might just strip this back a little bit. I keep these two in. I want to extend the debuffs. Uh, I think we're going to go for the new Orc as my lead. Increased defense. I'm going to go for Tayrell as our decrease attack, decrease defense. And I'm going to go for my... Uh, who am I missing? Counter attack. I'm going to go Skull Crusher. So we've got two ally protects. I've got someone who's done it. Oh no, I've got, I've got her in. The, I've got her in the team. Um, okay, let's flip this round. Do this and do this. She goes first. So I'm going to quickly check I've got the right items on Tayrell, so I'm not using for a little while. Life's still set. Good defense. Fast. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that feels good. One thing I don't have here is any sort of increased defense. Marta would do that better than Skull Crusher. Um, but obviously I'm trying to keep it a bit more neutral. I've got Bad L in there, so it's not that neutral. But uh, I could equally swap Bad L for Steel Skull. I do want the debuff extender because I want to try and extend the poison sensitivity. The next thing I'm going to do is test a run where we've actually got a weaken in the team and see what does more damage. So let's go into this then. The setup here is going to be poison as early as possible, decrease defense on, just start to extend, get a poison sensitivity up straight away. There it is, nice. And then we get a counter attack on. So now every time she does an A1, she's going to definitely 100% land poison if she's got enough accuracy, which is what we want. So she has a double poison on. And we'll see how quickly we can stack these poisons up. Yeah, a decrease attack on, didn't land. I have to be a bit careful that I don't end up doing too many debuffs and not actually getting that, that um, 
what's his face is uh, decrease attack on one two three four five six seven this is going to be eight nine should be okay eight nine see them both just flick straight on so hopefully we get decrease attack there it is so now we've got a full debuff bar and at this point we are literally now just with our poisoners have actually lost their job the poisoners now become utility and uh, my vizier does the rest of the work see the way i've already extended all of those debuffs up so now we start to boost speed and from this point i can literally press auto and we're going to have a full debuff bar for the whole fight so i want to use my still scroll as my cleanse so he's going to cleanse off this day one's here all the time here's the cleanse and then we get a counter attack back up obviously the speed buff from her is throwing my counter attack speed tuning off a bit which is going to affect damage um, the better move is probably to go with an all-out speed team so somebody who's actually going to lay a speed buff somebody's going to extend that buff so lanakis with a apothecary could be really cool um, I'll probably try a run like that just after this run. But I'm going to hit auto now and I'll show you the results. Well, here we go. We're at 9 minutes 20, which is pretty long into the fight now. And believe it or not, Banshee's still going. She is not quitting. Uh, Fazir's quit long before she has. Steel Skull's gone down. She is still in the fight and she is loving life. Um, we have still got a full stack of buffs, even though Vizier is out of the fight. They're just starting to drop off. She's going to be the last alive. Uh, it's kind of nutty because she doesn't even have the best gear out of everyone, but she does have good gear. 32.5 million Nightmare Run. Um, that's pretty crazy numbers. 13 million from Frozen Banshee. Of course, she's the poisoner. She's going to do big numbers. What I want to do is I'm, I'm going to take Steel Skull out and just throw somebody in the mix who can actually do weaken and let's see if we do more damage with poison over weaken now still still didn't even have good gear on what am i what am i doing with my life um let's throw in then who's going to be my weaken champ it might have to be razin i don't know if i've got anyone else that can step up and do the job well enough um i don't think i have not ready to go so let's get razin in the mix razin's going to bring probably an extra few million damage than what steel skull did anyway so let's let's assume then so we've got 32 million we're up against let's assume then that razin's going to bring an extra three million just from natural damage so what we're going to do is reduce the the amount that we hit here by three million and then it'll give us a good feel for what's better weaken versus poison uh poison sensitivity sorry Point sensitivity on. Then we're going to get our counter attack up. That is some pretty crazy numbers, though, actually. She just gets poison up there so fast. So that's a great thing. Especially if you've got a counter attacker. She is throwing poison up quick. Um, and the quicker you get it on with someone like a Vizier, the quicker he's extending those buffs. So, pretty much by the time you get to the end of the full kind of phase one after that first slam, you've basically got. A full bar of poisons look at this they're really up to eight debuffs about to get two more that's our 10 we've got all of the major debuffs up what else do you want in life obviously my razin he does a lot of damage just in his hits that's why i've got him built to do big hits so are we full yeah we're full already um okay cool so I don't have any cleanse in this team. I've lost my cleanse from Steel Skull, but I put it on auto after I stopped showing you anyway. So he's terrible on auto. He never cleanses on auto. He prefers to cleanse like a single poison than a, a stun for some reason. Um, so I can do auto again, which I'm going to do. And then we'll see how this one does. Well, eight minutes 20 in. I think this is actually going to be a really fair test against my last run because Razin wasn't in life steel gear. Uh, Vizier's not in life still gear as well. So I think we're probably going to end up being around the same sort of time that people die, um, which is what you want for kind of a test phase. So yeah, it feels like we're going to be in a good test run here. Um, and I also think that Frozen Banshee is going to be the last one up again, which 
is crazy. She, from what I'm seeing here, she is 100% Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss viable. 100%. She's also probably, for me, the best poisoner in the game for sheer damage. I think she's better now than a Cult Brawler. Uh, she's more consistent than a Cult Brawler. And she obviously brings a buff which is unique to the game right now. She is seriously upgraded. This, this buff for her is like literally insane uh, for what it can do for your damage. So we come in this one, 9 minutes 20 odd. We've weakened in the team. We've done a small fraction more damage. 33.3 million. Um, she's kicked out 17 million damage in that run. <laughs> Which is quite crazy. Um, so I guess just for one more look at her then, let's throw into more like a, a lower skilled speed team. I'm just going to throw together some champions and we'll try her out in that. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Something a bit more fun. So we're going to have a decreased attacker here. Poisoner, speed, speed buffer. Uh, I could put Catacomb Counselor in here. I don't have him geared up. Um, but she's going to give us a bit more increased attack and a bit more increased speed. And then we've got a, a defense lead who's going to give us protection. So... This could be quite a cool comp um, for an absolute speed run. That's all we're going for here. I'm just going to hit auto right from the start. Uh, but what you'll see is having somebody like a um, Lanarkis. Lanarkis extends buffs. So does um, the new orc, Sandlashed. So I've got two people extending the buffs I throw out. I've got decreased attack going on. I've got ally attack, which means I'm going to put more poisons on once that poison sensitivity is up. We've got speed buff as well, which could easily be replaced by high cartoon. I just don't have a geared up right now. So all in all, I think this could be a really cool team uh, for just an out-and-out -out speed setup. So I'm going to let it run through. I'll show you the results soon. just want to show you, with 2 minutes 20 in, I've, got, I've had speed buff up the whole time, constantly getting refreshed. The, uh, the bar of the boss in terms of debuffs has been full basically the whole time as well. Um, I think this is actually going to be a pretty damaging team uh, and a lot of fun as well. Well, I've lost my decrease attack champion 7 minutes 50 in. This is a really fun team. Like, I absolutely love this team. I wish counter attackers weren't so important in this game because this team is way more fun than trying to speed tune for a counter attack team. There's so many synergies going on. Um, I think we're going to do a crazy amount of damage anyway because we've lasted a long time into this fight. We just haven't done as many hits as you would get with a counter-attack team, so it's, it's hard to know where we're going to be. But we've literally had poisons rifling in the whole game. She's definitely Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss Viable. I think she's the best poisoner in the game now. I think she's absolutely the best poisoner in the whole game. Better than any legendary champion. Better than the brawler. I can't think of anyone who's better than, than her at doing what she does and at putting damage out the way she's doing it. She's also got good base stats, so you can absolutely build her defense up enough. I mean, she's lasting now, what, nearly nine minutes again. She has got enough defense to get through the fights. It's a really, really cool champion. They've done a great job with this rare. Anybody who got it from their battle pass, it was kind of sleeping on her and thought, you know, after my first guide, perhaps she's just not the one to use. She's changed. She is the one to use, maybe above all other champions in the game. The only thing you've got to be completely aware of is the fact that she's got a speed buff. So if you're trying to put her in a speed tune team, then that's, that's going to be difficult to do. It's not impossible to do. You can actually work it out so that it, it would work out, but it's, it's hard to do. It's hard to do that type of um, speed manipulation to get it absolutely perfect. But look here, we've got Sandlashed just doing work for the team, keeping everybody alive. We've got all of these ally attacks coming in. Um, I mean, even without my decreased attack champion, I've lasted another two and a half minutes just with uh, Reaper. Reaper's been doing work as well here. So this is a fun, fun team. Ten minutes into the fight now. This is going to be a massive, massive key. For no counterattack, this is probably going to be one of the biggest keys I've hit. Because uh, I've just had poison stacked the whole time. You know, I don't think there's been a turn when there's not been at least five poisons up with that poison sensitivity. Here we go. We're all dead. Didn't get a decrease attack on. What have we done? Another 30 million key. It's on Brutal, so it's not as, as hard, but 30 million Brutal key 
without a counter-attack is literally unheard of. That is crazy, crazy damage right there. Um, so look, she's very fun. If you've got her, she's only for clan boss. Let's not kid herself. She's not going to be going into a load of other content. She's just for clan boss. But her coffin smasher, two amazing new rares that you should absolutely invest your time in. Guys, I've been Hell Hades. Signing out.